It is the morning cryptos, and I have just spent the last hour trying to renew my Coinigy account. <laughs> um, I don't know what the deal is. I have a I have a note into their support. I have a support ticket in, but uh, I don't have my chart. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to um, World Coin Index. We're gonna go to CoinMarketCap.com, and we're gonna look. And we're going to see that everything is down. So, uh, everything down. Except Tether. <laughs> well, whatever. Everything's down. Everything is down except Digix Dow, which is up 31%. What the frick is that? Everything is down. 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 It's a bloodbath, people. It's a slaughter. It's a slaughter. Um, and I don't have the charts to look at, uh, so I apologize for that. But um, below 8,000 for the first time since November 24th, Cointelegraph has an article about finding a price. Why is Bitcoin worth what it is? Ah, Bitcoin price, as any investor knows, can move in the blink of an eye and can go from $20,000 to the half of it in a few weeks. And Bitcoin is a constant roller coaster of price discovery. This leaves many asking what determines the price of this digital currency, especially for an intangible asset that exists only on the internet. The crypto market and the Bitcoin one in particular is a trading hive, and as such, it is this buzz of traders who ultimately move Bitcoin price up or down. Nothing new, frankly, but it's interesting to note that as a decentralized asset, it is truly all up to the people to determine the price. Discovering what price? With Bitcoin being traded back and forth all the time in crypto exchanges, the price is in a constant state of flux that these exchanges are currently trying to put their finger on. An exchange engages with its users as a brokerage, and thus when one buys on an exchange, the individual is reaching an agreement with the exchange and is usually agreed upon in reference to the last trade that was made. This leads to price discovery. Okay, that's good to know. Adam White, general manager of GDAX, says, When people say, what's the price of Bitcoin trading or the price of Ether, it's not any company that sets it. That price is discovered on open exchanges through individuals and institutions trading with one another. Fear the fear. These general economic principles will help in finding the price and determining the supply and demand. But what is unique in the crypto ecosystem is the effect of opinions and news. The anagram FUD... Fear, uncertainty, and doubt has become synonymous with a falling Bitcoin price, and it does play a role. With such a volatile and twitchy market, it is unsurprising that investors in this hitherto untested asset are quick to pull the trigger and get out. Thus, when fear, uncertainty, and doubt starts flooding the media, the price usually takes a dive. This was highlighted in the recent South Korea fiasco, where fake news led to FUD, which led to a market drop. The confusion about a potential ban caused a massive sell-off and thus affected the price. Buy the rumor, sell the news. On the flip side, another unique way in which Bitcoin price rises is by a strange phenomenon of buying the rumor and selling the news. This happens when there are rumors of positive changes coming to the Bitcoin ecosystem, which see people to try and get prepared and ready for a price drop, buying more coins. However, this buying sends the price up in normal supply and demand circumstances and can lead to big rallies. Such was seen in the build-up to the futures release by CME and CBOE, which I talked about yesterday a little bit. Um, the Bitcoin price rose steadily as the early December dates approached, but as the futures launched, there was hardly any movement afterwards. In fact, there was a downturn. This was people selling the news. The launch of futures cashing out on the run-up. Okay, so good old supply and demand. Of course, anyone with a bit of economic knowledge will know that price is determined by supply and demand. Regardless of the asset, this will give a good indication that people are willing to pay of what that people are willing to pay in order to achieve the asset. It's also why prices vary over exchanges, as well as on aggregator sites such as Cointelegraph, where the price is the average over multiple exchanges. 
On some exchanges, the price may be higher as the demand is higher, and that last trade will be higher as people's desperation to get in on a smaller supply sees them push their limits in terms of a price they're willing to accept. Bitcoin exchanges are managing an order book, says Christian Catalani, an assistant professor of technological innovation at MIT Sloan School of Management. That's basically a list of people at any point in time willing to buy or sell at different prices. What they do is they match demand and supply, and that process of matching the two sides of the market is what leads to price discovery. What about today's price? According to Catalini, it's because of the hype and excitement around the crypto market through the end of last year, a correction was bound to happen. He concluded the space was ripe for a correction after the craziness at the end of 2017. Bitcoin continues to slide now into February, and it seems to be born on the back of a lot of negative press, some real, some less than convincing. As several countries, notably China and South Korea, target a crackdown, Neil Wilson, analyst for ETX Capital, said, Explaining moves in Bitcoin is always tricky, but this plunge may well be a result of recent signs that regulatory pressures are building. The Korean crackdown was a paper tiger and debunked by the country, country's highest authority, but bad news leaves its mark on such a speculative market. Regardless, today's price proves that negative press has a big role to play in the way the market moves. And the flip side of that is so does positive news. Oh, okay. That was a quite long article to find out that Bitcoin is affected by the news. Yeah. So, people... Not much to tell you today here. Uh, let's look at Joseph Young and see if there's uh, anything going on with Joseph Young in the Asian markets. Okay, Joseph Young, five hours ago. Fortune, who had earlier disclosed a 2012 investment in Ethereum? Um, Ethereum did not exist in 2012, so Fortune is... Uh, Yeah. Okay, whatever. Tomato soup with old base smelling like clam bake. Goody cheese is still okay, whatever. Charlie Shrem, time to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> hey everyone, don't panic. Router says the recent correction was caused by Facebook's cryptocurrency ad ban. <laughs> Hashtag clueless. <laughs> Uh, Bitcoin skids to two-month low after Facebook ad ban unnerves investors. Reuters, right? Okay. <laughs> My talk meter. If you send me 0.1 Ethereum, I will send you nothing because I am too lazy. Okay, I'm not sure what the context of that was. Joseph Young, the cryptocurrency market is still not at its three-month low. In November, the market was valued at less than $200 billion, which was Bitcoin's market cap not too long ago. One slight positive development, South Korea premiums have disappeared. Better for long-term growth. John McAfee. Lots of people asking me over the past few days whether my bet is still on that I will eat my dick if Bitcoin does not reach $1 million by the end of 2020. Absolutely! It is a bet that I cannot possibly use. I think he means lose. Use your heads, people. Run the numbers that, run the numbers that crypto folks well know. Okay, well. Ah, Ripple falls below a dollar for the first time in two months. That's good news. Again, I don't think Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are the problem. India's demon demonetization kills 100 people, apparently. This is not blah, blah, blah. The death of an, any individual is, of course, a tragedy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> All right. Andreas Antonopoulos. The very basis of financial news media is flawed. They're reading tea leaves to determine causation in type 2 chaotic system. No one knows is the correct but unprofitable answer. Good one. I'm going to retweet that baby. Retweet it there. I don't know what else to do today, people. Not much to do. All right, so that's it. It's down. It's down. But not out. Let's just look at it and see if we can get some kind of a chart on World Coin Index because the charts are simple here, and I I like simple. And oh look at that! Looks like we're having a little bit of a a rebound here. Um, let's look at the one day chart. Yeah, it's gonna be okay, people. It's gonna be okay. All right. So I'm gonna go off and do something else today because there's not much I can do today. I did buy some basic attention token yesterday at what I thought was a great price. And uh, 
check out the Brave browser. <laughs> I got nothing else to tell you. All right. Ooh, a hawk just flew by. Two, ooh, a hawk flew by and chased by a crow. That's interesting. Now, that's interest. That's news, okay? <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Uh, look for some more music on my channel very soon. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully I'll have my charts back. All right, bye. <laughs>